Good morning. I um, was asked to come this morning. I have to tell you how much of an honor it is for me. I grew up not very far from here in the Carson and Harbor Gateway area. Now, when I was a kid, uh, my father uh, was a TV repairman and he loved baseball. And my father was a little older. And what we did together was we would watch baseball games. And my father had Parkinson's disease for most of my childhood. And my father passed when I was 22 years old. So when I watch baseball now, it's like spending time with my dad. And it's so great to see so many parents out here today to encourage um, these young ladies to play and to succeed and to do well. When I was a kid, I was the youngest of 11 kids. And my parents were immigrants from Mexico. And oftentimes they told me, well, you can't do that because that was always the line. It was because your parents don't have any money or because your parents don't have an education. And when I wanted to play baseball, they said, you can't do that. That's for boys. And I always use that as encouragement. And I have done that throughout my life. My first job at 15 was at McDonald's. I went on to become a lawyer. I went on to become a city council member and now a member of the United States Congress in Washington, DC. So I tell you young girls who are here today, don't let anybody ever tell you, you can't do something because you can. And I remember when I was a kid and I would play baseball, I would put my hair up in a bun underneath my cap and at the end of the game, I would take it off and the boys would say, it's a girl, because they didn't know the difference. And as was said earlier, the future is female. Now in Congress, we have nine Latinas in the entire Congress, 435 members. I was the only new Democratic Latina elected in the entire country to the US House. We need more young ladies stepping up to the plate and stepping up and doing what they want. So dream big. When I was a kid, and I think every young kid who plays baseball dreams of playing on a major league baseball field. Now little would I know that I would have to go to Congress to make that dream come true. In June of last year, I got to play for the first time at Nats Park on a major league baseball field. I was one of two women who play on the men's baseball team in Washington. And when I got up and heard the roar of some 25,000 people, it was like being a kid all over again and that dream coming true. So whatever your dream is, it can come true. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I've seen just today and talked to a few of you how great you are. Your skills are there. You can do anything you want and applying the baseball skills to life is key. I do it every day. And so I'm so excited. I wish I could put on a suit myself and join you and play. I want to thank Major League Baseball. I want to thank um, USA Baseball for inviting me to be part of this Trailblazer series. Because each of you young ladies are the future. You are the trailblazers for the generation behind. And so I know both sides wants to win today. And everybody wins. Everybody wins by being on a field. And so with that, I hope that my story will maybe encourage you to take the next step, to continue to dream big and continue to do well. I may not have been the best on the baseball team, but I did okay. And I am looking forward to seeing each and every one of you and frankly one day break the barrier so we can see women in Major League Baseball. So thank you all so very much. It's an honor for me to be here today.